Hey everyone, it's Laura from the blog ourreallyhouse.com and in today's video I'm just going to be taking you along for a couple of days just kind of showing you um, some of the meals that I've been cooking, a little bit of cleaning, a lot of nesting and just getting ready for the baby and I'm also going to be giving you a 30 week pregnancy update. For breakfast, I'm just making some granola. My kids love when I make granola and I never make it enough. It is something really good to have right now because my sister recently started milking her cow twice a day and so there is an overabundance of milk and so having cereal on hand just so we can use up some more milk is great and I love giving my kids milk fresh from the farm that's raw and so this is a really good breakfast for them to have. So, I actually have this granola recipe on my blog so I will link it below in case you want to make some homemade granola. We like to make it and just eat it either with homemade yogurt or just as cereal with some milk and I like to add in some berries. After breakfast or after any meal, I always like to clean up the kitchen. I find that if I clean it up just kind of as I go, it makes doing everything so much easier, especially the dishes because nothing's like caked on yet if I just wash them right after we're done eating. So after we were done eating breakfast, I did a quick kitchen cleanup. All right guys, you're probably gonna make fun of me. I know my sister does because I guess I don't really like change or I don't really think about things to change in my room, but these green sheets that you see here, these are the only pair of sheets that I've ever owned. I got these as a wedding gift over 10 years ago and they have been the one pair of sheets that I've had my entire life. They're not great, they're just probably I think from Target or wherever I registered from. They're just the sheets that I got for my wedding and I never thought about changing them. And I finally thought it was time to probably get some new sheets on my bed because these are 10 years old. That's probably disgusting. I don't know. When I make my bed or like wash the sheets, I just take them off. My bed just lays there naked until the sheets are done. I put them back on because I don't even have an extra set of sheets. The pillowcases are long gone because those did get kind of like ratty and yucky after a while. Um, these do have some holes in them it was time to upgrade so I got the Lux Brook Linen um, bundle and so it came with pillowcases the core sheet set and a duvet cover which I am super excited about because like I said it is just totally time to upgrade my sheets so I'm really excited to get these on my bed 
and try them out and see what I think of them. And I'm also, I just got my new pillows recently um, from the same company or Marlo, which is Brooklinen's um, sister company. And I absolutely love them. They have been such a game changer sleeping on those since being pregnant. And so I'm excited to try these sheets as well. So I'm gonna make my bed, put them on here, feel them, cozy up in them a little bit, and then I'm gonna let you guys know really just what I think about them. But I'm really excited to get them on my bed. I just picked the cream color. I am a neutral girl, even though I have green sheets on my bed now. I typically like things just kind of neutral, but they had like 20 different options of colors and patterns and things. So if you're looking for new sheets for your bed or duvet cover, um, you can get a discount with my code oily house and it will be $20 off an order of $100 or more. So when you get the bundles, it will actually save you money. So if you need like the duvet cover, the sheets, the pillowcases, like everything like I do, then you can just get the whole bundle and then it'll help you to save money. But if you only need a couple things, you can do that too. But be sure to use that um, discount code oily house. I'll have all that linked down in the description box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make my bed with all of my new sheets, put my new duvet cover on, and I will let you guys see how it all looks. So one thing I love about this duvet cover are these buttons right here because it makes it to where it really holds in the down comforter or whatever comforter you have inside of there and it will not slide around. So I'm just going around and like buttoning this in and I just love that because I've had a duvet cover in the past and it always seemed to be coming out. But this one I can tell is really gonna hold it securely in place because of those buttons. Alright guys, so as promised, after sleeping on the Brooklyn and Sheets, I want to give you a little review. I absolutely love them. Not only do they look so pretty, so every time I look into my room, I'm like, ah, oh, it just looks so much more like clean and fresh and like crisp. I love it. But they also were extremely comfortable. Um, my husband and I both, our favorite thing about these, we think they're gonna be great for summertime because they were nice and cool. I got the Lux um, bundle and those sheets have a 480 plus thread count, which I used to not care about that at all, but I guess just, I don't know. So I'm getting a little bit older, pregnancy, it's a little bit harder to sleep. I really like to have a really nice, cozy sheet, and these are definitely them. So I really like that. Like I said, they're really, really pretty. And the one thing I really love about Brooklinen is that it gives you these high quality bedding and sheets for a good price. And so that's one thing I really liked about them. They are highly recommended by a lot of people. There's like 90,000 reviews for them, all five stars. Everybody really likes them. And so I'm excited to have them now on my bed because 
As I mentioned before, I definitely needed to upgrade and I just really like the way that these look. So like I said, I got the Lux bundle. They have a classic bundle as well. So you can kind of look at the different options and the different colors to see if there is a certain one that you want. And I do have that code oily house for you to get $20 off if you decide that you want to upgrade your bedding. So just weeding in the gardens, um, picking flowers, making arrangements, eventually harvesting some vegetables. In the afternoons, I try to get out there and just enjoy some sunshine, quiet, and work in the gardens. For lunch, I'm just making a simple meatloaf. Now, because I am 30 weeks pregnant now, I'm starting to kind of think about meals for after when I have the baby. So today I'm making a double meatloaf and then I'm just going to make one for lunch today and then put one in the freezer so that I have one when after I have the baby. And this is something that I'm gonna try to do, continue to do until I have the baby, to just kind of, anytime I can, make an extra meal, throw it in the freezer, so then we have a stockpile of meals after I have the baby. Now I'll probably do a freezer meal day where I knock out like 10 to 15 meals at one time, but I just figured while I'm making some meals leading up to giving birth, I can make a couple extra just because after I have the baby, I won't be doing much cooking. I do have a lot of family that will bring me meals, but um, having extra food on hand is great because I try to do pretty much nothing but snuggle a newborn for the first couple of weeks. To go with this, I'm making some herb roasted potatoes. So I'm getting some rosemary and basil out of my herb garden, and I'm gonna just toss the potatoes with a little bit of olive oil and some seasonings and the fresh herbs. And I'll bake these at the same time as I bake my meatloaf. And then like I said, the other meatloaf, I'll just straight in the freezer. I like to make my own laundry soap and I've been making my own laundry soap for over 10 years now and we are about out so I'm making a big five gallon bucket of laundry soap. This recipe is also on my blog. I also have a um, video tutorial here on YouTube so if you'd rather watch you can just search um, homemade laundry soap or early house on YouTube or you can search that on my blog for the recipe. So. I can link them below too. Um, I'm making a big five gallon bucket. This will last us for several months. So this is a good idea for me to be making now so I won't have to be worried about worrying about making laundry soap right after I have the baby.
All right, so it's super hard to believe that I'm already giving this 30 week pregnancy update. Um, this pregnancy is definitely flying by. As mentioned in some previous videos, told you guys that I really enjoy being pregnant and that's still standing true as of now. I know that so I'll have 10 weeks to go and that's probably gonna be the more uncomfortable times as I get bigger. But as of right now, I am feeling great. I have zero complaints. Um, Everything's just going really smoothly. The baby's doing lots of movement. I've been meeting with my midwife a few times and so the plan is still to have a home birth. Um, trying to think of any like actual updates because there isn't really much to update you guys on because things are just going pretty smoothly. We have not found out the gender of the baby. In fact, we haven't, we didn't do any ultrasounds. Um, I try to stay away from ultrasounds unless I have some type of concern, which in the very beginning of this pregnancy, I had one little tiny scare. So I did a quick little ultrasound to check on this baby at eight weeks pregnant, but I haven't had any ultrasounds since then. So nobody knows what this baby is, boy or girl. Um, everyone in my immediate family, my husband and my kids, we all are thinking boy. Um, I'm normally not a great guesser, so I don't have like that strong maternal instinct like a lot of women do. It's just my personal opinion. So I guess we'll see whenever the baby's born. As far as names go, we're getting closer on deciding a name. We have been making a list just when we think of names, we're kind of narrowing it down. Now, this is all for boy names. We already have a girl name picked, set in stone, and it's been the same name. I haven't had a girl in nine years, and all of my boys, I've had four boys. I had a girl and four boys, and all four of my boys were gonna have the same girl name. So the girl name is still set. We still love it. Um, the boy name we're having a little bit more hard time with, but we are getting closer to deciding on his name if it is a boy. So. He should have a name when he's born. As far as supplements go, I get asked a lot what I take. I am currently just taking a prenatal. It's the baby and me um, prenatal by Mega Food. It's just a whole food based vitamin. So I take, I think it's two. Every day is this the serving for that. So that's all I'm taking. Other than that, I'm just trying to eat a lot of um, nutrient dense food. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting enough protein, um, lots of fermented foods and raw dairy, just to make sure that I have enough um, calories for me and the baby. But I don't really pay too much attention to that. Um, I have not weighed myself one time during this pregnancy. I don't have a scale in my home. My midwife never asked me for a beginning weight or an end weight. I don't really know why, it just hasn't happened. And so I have no idea how much weight I've gained. I don't really pay much attention to that. Maybe I should, I don't know. I just try to pay attention to my kick counts, you know, like at the end of the day, sit down, I, I haven't felt the baby move, I kind of like push on my stomach a little bit, feel some movement, and I, you know, know that the baby's okay in there because I have lots of movement going on. I don't like using the Doppler, and so instead I use the fetal scope, and so my midwife uses that to check the heartbeat, um, and to see like the rate and all of that, everything has always been good with that. Um, as far as position, as of right now, the baby is head down, so it's in like the correct position. I think the body is on the left side, and I say that because I do have, and I get this with all my pregnancies, I have a shorter torso, and I get rib pain, and the rib pain's all on the left side currently, not anything on the right, and so I'm assuming the baby is mostly on the left, and then like little flutters and kicks are over on the right side, so that's just my own from like how I feel it, but I haven't really had like a check yet on the position of the baby. That'll be something that we'll do a little bit later when it gets closer to delivery to make sure the baby's in the right position. Now, I am gonna start, I say this, I haven't scheduled an appointment yet, but I wanted to start at 30 weeks. Now I'm 30 weeks, I need to do this. I wanna go to a chiropractor and do a couple appointments just to get adjusted. Um, it's a chiropractor that specializes in like pregnancy or pre prenatal type visits or whatever. And I want to just do those to make sure that my baby's in the correct position in hopes that it makes my pushing time a little bit less because in my last couple of births, I had a longer pushing time than I did. In the first three my midwife mentioned that was because my baby wasn't in the most ideal position. So I did some research on that, talked to a lot of other moms and um, people that did some 
chiropractor care and they said that really helps. So my goal is to go see a chiropractor. There's actually one that's really close to where I live and have a few adjustments in hopes that the baby can be in the perfect position for delivery. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna stand up here and I'll show you guys some belly shots. I feel like the baby is about normal, I don't know. I measure normal size for the baby, like with the centimeters for my um, fundal height. I measure right on. I feel like I look about the same as I usually do. I've had babies range from five pounds 12 ounces to eight pounds, two ounces, and then a few in between there. So it's hard to say what the exact weight of my baby will be. Um, as far as due date goes, I'm due at the end of August, August 26. I have had babies that were um, 11 days late was my latest, and then I've had two one day early. So again, really hard to say um, if I'll go early, late, probably somewhere right on time is my guess, because I've had one on a due date two day before, and then I had two, two of my middle boys were eight days and 11 days late. So my guess would be that I'll go pretty much right on time, which will be right around the end of August. So that's what's going on here. Um, everything's going pretty smoothly and yeah, we're just excited and I'm getting ready for baby and for getting ready for me means basically I'll get a pack of newborn diapers when it gets closer, make sure that my baby wrap is washed and ready to go. And then my daughter will pick out a boy and a girl outfit because that's her favorite thing to do. It says with my last couple, we didn't know gender. She just loves having the boy and the girl outfit ready depending on which one it is. But don't typically even put clothes on my baby for the first couple weeks. We just lay skin to skin. So it won't be needed right away, but she will definitely be doing that because that's one of her favorite things to do as we get closer to having the baby. All right, guys, I hope you guys in enjoyed this video, got to see a little glimpse into our life as we are getting ready for the baby, a little update. And don't forget if you guys are looking to upgrade your bedding, if you want some new cozy sheets and pillowcases, a duvet cover, you can use my code OILYHOUSE. You guys can get $20 off your Brook Linen order of $100 or more. And I'll have that code and that link to shop Brook Linen down in my description box below. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching.